Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time we were able to discuss the different equation of an ellipse if the center is not anymore located at the origin. So today we will be applying those equations or those formula in order for us to sketch and to identify the foci, the vertices, and the covertices of an ellipse. For example, we are given here an equation. 25 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 9 times the quantity y plus 4 squared is equal to 900. So, if we would be um, studying the equation of an ellipse, the equation of an ellipse, the right side of the equation of an ellipse is always equal to 1. Therefore, we need to transform this given. And all we have to do is to divide both sides by the constant in the right side. And that is 900. Therefore, we need to divide this by 900. Okay, dividing both sides by 900, we will be having 25 divided by 900. That becomes 1 over 36. Plus, we have 9 divided by 900 will be having y plus 4 quantity squared over 100. That is 1 over 100 is now equal to 900 over 900, which is equal to 1. Therefore, this is now the equation of an ellipse. Next step is to know where the major axis is. So, where is the major axis? Therefore, we could see here that 100 is greater than 36 and 100 comes with y therefore we'll be calling this as major vertical axis therefore our ellipse will somehow look like this one okay so let us now try to identify the values of a squared b squared and c squared but before that let us first write the equation so the major formula that is uh, we'll be having x minus h quantity squared. We'll be having x minus h quantity squared over. This becomes b squared plus y minus k quantity squared over a squared is equal to 1. So this is the formula that we will be using. Since this is a squared, this becomes our a squared. Therefore, a squared is equal to 100. Our a now is equal to plus minus 10 because we need to get the square root of a. So, it will be getting the square root of 100 that becomes plus minus 10. Therefore, b squared now is how much? That is 36. Getting the square root of both sides will be having b is equal to plus minus 6. Okay, therefore, we will now be using the triangle inequality. And what is the formula for the triangle inequality? That is c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Therefore, c squared is equal to what is our a squared? That is 100. What is our b squared? That is 36. Therefore, c squared is equal to 100 minus 36, which is... What is 100 minus 36? That is 64. Getting the square root of both sides, therefore, c is equal to plus minus 8. Therefore, these are now the values of A, B, and C. So, since this is major vertical axis, if it is major vertical axis, we are changing the values of Y of the center. Therefore, where is the center first? The center is located at, that is 2, and negative 4. The center is located at 2 and negative Four. So, using the values of the center, we'll now be having the foci. For the foci, since this is major vertical axis, we will be changing the value of y, and the formula now is h, k plus, minus c. Okay, therefore, the foci would be, what is the value of h? That is 2. What is the value of k? Negative 4 plus, minus, what is the value of c? That is 8. Okay, so, therefore, f prime now is 2 and negative 4 minus 8 and f now is and f now is 2 negative 4 plus 8 therefore we will be having f prime as 2 which is negative 4 minus 8 that is negative 12 
And also, F is now equal to 2. Negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4. Okay. How about for the vertices? For the vertices, it, it also lies on the y-axis. Therefore, we'll be having H, K plus minus A because this is vertices. Therefore, in terms of A. So, V prime now is equal to what is the value of H? That is 2. What is the value of k? What is the value of k? That is negative 4 minus. Negative 4 minus a. What is negative 4 minus a? What is the value of a? That is 10. V is 2. Negative 4 plus 10. Simplifying, therefore, we'll be having 2. Negative 4 minus 10 is negative 14. The other point of the vertices is 2. Negative 4 plus 10 is positive 6. And for the last one, which is the co-vertices, W, W is now equal to, because W is located in the x-axis or the horizontal line, therefore we'll be having H plus minus B K, because we are changing the value of the X. Okay, therefore this is now equal to W prime, W prime is what is the value of H? That is 2 minus. 2 minus, what is the value of B? Value of B is 6. 2 minus 6 and then K, which is negative 4. W is 2 plus 6, negative 4. W prime is 2 minus 6, that is negative 4, negative 4. And W now is? 8 and negative 4. So these are the important points that we need to plot so that we could sketch the ellipse with this equation. So we have here F prime. We have here F. We also have here V prime. We also have here V. We have here W prime. And we also have here W. And the most important point is the center. So the center is located at 2 and negative 4. So this is 2. Negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So this is the center. Okay. It is located at 2 and negative 4. So let's try to graph the foci. The foci is located at 2, negative 12. 2, negative 12. So this is F prime. F prime, this is 2, negative 12. Next, F. That is 2, 4. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is our F located at 2 and 4. Okay, so we'll now be having the vertices for the vertices that is 2, negative 14, 2, negative 14. This is V prime, 2, negative 14. V is 2, 6, 2. This is V, that is 2, 6. And for the minor axis, for the minor axis, we'll be having the co-vertices, which is W prime. That is negative 4, negative 4. This is negative 4, negative 4. This is W prime located at negative 4, negative 4. And for the W, that is 8, negative 4. 8, negative 4. So this is our W located at 8, negative 4. So our ellipse will somehow look like this. Okay, so this is now our ellipse having an equation. Our equation of our ellipse is y plus 4 quantity squared over 100 plus x minus 2 quantity squared over 36 is equal to 1. Okay, I have here a follow-up question. So, what if you're asked to get the length of the major axis? So what is the length of the major axis then? The length of the major axis is always 2a. Therefore, that is 2 times what is the value of a? That is 10. Therefore, the length of the major axis is 20 units. This is the major axis. This is the major axis. Therefore, from 6 
to negative 14, that is 20 units. I hope that is clear. What if you're asked to get the length of the minor axis? What is the length of the minor axis? Okay. From this one, from W prime to W, that is the minor axis. And the length of the minor axis is always 2B. So that is 2 times what is our B? 6. Therefore, that is 2 times 6 is 12 units. Therefore, we'll be having 12 units. Let us try to count the length of the minor axis. So this is from negative 4 up to 8. That is 8 minus minus 4, 8 minus negative 4. Therefore, the answer is, this is 8 plus 4, 12. And we'll be having 12 units. So that is how we sketch the ellipse showing the center, the foci, the vertices, and the co-vertices. I hope you have learned something from today about sketching an ellipse, an equation of an ellipse. And if you have questions, do not hesitate to write down uh, a comment or message me on Facebook or uh, on Twitter and on Instagram. Once again, I am Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.